Hello everyone, this is DeAndre from Kettering University, here for Robot 3 Days. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about scoring. So with the game, um, it seems like most of the scoring options are kind of limited and pretty straightforward. But overall we were thinking about trying to keep things simple and trying to do a strategy that's more realistic for everyone to kind of get at and something that we can accomplish within three days. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for FIRST students are now available. Get more information at kettering.edu slash FIRST. Stryker is one of the world-leading medical technology companies and is driven to help make healthcare better. Stryker's commitment to innovation has made it a career destination for engineering professionals. Click the link in the description box below or go to careers.stryker.com to discover your next opportunity. For autonomous, we're thinking um, to be able to score bottom and middle is still good value points there, but doesn't have quite the complexity that top scoring will require. And then on top of that, we're planning on to dock and engage. We're hoping that we'll be able to get it level fairly easily to get the 12 points. And then in Telia, we're going to do a series of scoring bottom and middle in hopes to get as many links as possible to get the five points. And then with that, we're hoping to be able to score five links, which will have to go across the cooperation zone, but we're hoping we'll still be able to accomplish it to get the one RP. Then for end game, again, just docking and engaging for the points. So essentially, as an overview, our abilities are kind of the ability to score in the middle. Also dock and engage, run an autonomous routine, and then grab, we're hoping to be able to grab from the ground and substation, or like the double substation so that we can get things from the table and then also ground pick up. Hi everyone, this is Kirsten from Kettering University and I'm with the Robot 3 Days team and we're going to talk some strategy. I will talk our own strategy for our own robot in a second, but first we're going to start with general game strategy. So to begin, we have our ranking points, especially pertaining to the charging station points. Now, you can score points for the charging station in either autonomous mode or endgame. So, all of those points, when, when summed together, can go towards your own ranking point. So, if you, know, if you do all the math, you can realize that you can get this ranking point with only two robots if you score enough points during the autonomous period. So, keep in mind of that. And then, obviously, the cooperation ranking point is reliant on your opponent also scoring in their own cooperation uh, area on the grid. So please be very careful when you are thinking about your own like ranking point strategy throughout the entire game. And then obviously there's a big topic going around about defense and how limited defense is during this game. But is it really? Because once you think about it, this is not a happy defensive game, but if you play it carefully, you can play a lot of defense very, very well, especially in the middle area, because that's really the only where only place where you can play it. You cannot touch another robot when it's in its own community, but once it exits it, it's fair game. So you're able to, if you're able to block off channels or can keep them from moving around into like their, moving into their uh, like favored path between the loading station and their own grid, you could like severely reduce the number of points your opponent can score. So that's the name, that's the defense that you can play, and it, it should be very interesting to see how it plays out in the future. And uh, one final thing to note is that for this game. There is a max amount of points that you can score during this game. There are a limited amount of game pieces on the field, and there are a limited amount of places where you can score. So if you play a clean game, uh, there are there is a maximum amount of points you can score, and I do expect that near the end of the season you should be able to get to that max point fairly quickly. So that is our basic general game strategy. And now moving on to our own strategy for Robot 3 Days, we have some basic ideas we're working with right now. So to start off, we are not focusing on placing game pieces into the top level of the grid because we feel like that would be a bit too difficult in the limited time frame we have, although it is definitely possible you are able to do that. Secondly, we are aiming for a somewhat symmetrical design to help aid with our center of gravity. Obviously, center of gravity is where the center of all your weight is on your robot. And especially with a balancing endgame this year, you are going to need to be very uh, conscientious of where uh, that center of gravity is on your robot. So keeping it low into the center would be very, very useful. That is our goal here because we want to be able to balance on the, the platform for endgame. So just keep that in mind. And then we are creating a gripper system to grab the cubes and the cones from hopefully any orientation, but 
We are not focusing on picking up cones lying down on the floor because we do think that would be a bit difficult for what we have in our time frame. And finally, uh, we would all love to build a swerve robot because we believe that that would be the preferred chassis this year due to all the, all the careful movements you have to make along the field. We are going to do a standard tank drive chassis just because we don't have the time to build, build and program a swerve drive and a tank drive is pretty standard. It's what's in your kit of parts, so that would be the most basic way to uh, attack this game. So that is our basic strategy talk and uh, keep watching uh, all of our videos on the channel this weekend to see our progress. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Stryker is one of the world leading medical technology companies and is driven to help make healthcare better. Stryker's commitment to innovation has made it a career destination for engineering professionals. Click the link in the description box below or go to careers.stryker.com to discover your next opportunity. Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for FIRST students are now available. Get more information at kettering.edu slash FIRST. Thank you to all of our suppliers and sponsors for the Robot in 3 Days Redux and Kettering Bulldogs programs.